Elementary OS Locky has been one of the most hyped distros in the Linux world lately. But does it live up to the hype? Let's find out. Elementary OS is a Linux distro based on Ubuntu LTS and it's designed to be simple and user-friendly for new Linux users. The theme and desktop environment certainly remind of Mac OS, but to be fair, Elementary OS always looked like this. What they're trying to accomplish here with this type of desktop environment is a combination between Mac OS and GNOME design principles. Since it's based on Ubuntu, the installation was exactly identical, as the installer is still the good old Ubiquiti. No reason to change that in my opinion, it has worked well for a lot of time and it still does good. As the system is installed, the first thing I noticed was the extreme simplicity of the desktop environment. It almost looks like a toy, it doesn't really feel like a Linux distro at all. The obvious thing to start doing when you freshly install the system is pressing on one of the icons in the dock. Now, the selection of default applications is very short, which, in my opinion, is a good thing. There's only the essentials out of the box. The browser in Loki is no longer Midori, but a patched version of Epiphany, also known as GNOME Web. A simple yet pretty good browser based on WebKit. It's fast and easy on battery life, so I think it's a good choice for a default browser. The other apps are pretty basic, like the music and video ones, as well as the text editor. Nothing fancy about them, they're simple tools that just do one thing and I'm perfectly fine with this idea. Moving to more interesting applications, let's talk about the file manager, Pantheon Files. What's particularly weird is that it's not even on the dock by default. This is an unusual choice since the file manager is one of the most obvious apps any user needs in his hands. Opening the file manager from the menu, I can start feeling the intention behind Elementary OS. Pantheon Files is, well, underwhelmingly short of features. It's just a basic, straightforward file manager with not many extra options. I mean, it doesn't even have a preferences menu. And here's where the nature of Elementary OS Loki started to show. The next app I want to talk about is the Software Center. It's again a pretty straightforward app. It's based on AppStream, the same technology behind GNOME Software. It offers an easy interface with a decent search function and it seems to be working fine for the most part. What's upsetting is that it's not any useful for installing more advanced packages like libraries or drivers and this is a huge lag for Elementary OS. The first thing a new Linux user needs is a simple graphical application to install graphics card drivers and Elementary OS doesn't have one. The little software center doesn't even find driver packages at all, forcing a newcomer to the Linux world to use the terminal to install hardware drivers. I admit it, I appreciate a lot the effort that Elementary OS team made to try and create a more user-friendly Linux distro for beginners, but I feel like the final result isn't still ready. The lack of options and the extreme abstraction from the base system make Elementary OS feel like nothing more than a preface. If you decide to stick to the default apps, and if you don't need any particular software or third-party hardware driver, and if you are fine with the usability that Elementary OS offers, then it's probably fine for you. But if you plan on tweaking it or using it differently from how it's been designed, then it will be a huge pain. Now, I would like to quote the words of Aaron Griffin. He is one of the founders of the Arch Linux project, and once he said, if you try to hide the complexity of the system, you will end up with a more complex system. It's okay to try and hide the complexity of a system. It's what developers have been doing since consumer computing became a thing. But if you overdo it, you will just end up making the life of a novice user just more difficult. I want to note that Elementary OS is a quite young project that has been subject to many changes over the course of its development and its team is also really small, so it's incredible that they have been able to accomplish such a great task. It's not perfect, but it's a great beginning. I am confident that in the future Elementary OS will prove to be a great operating system and it will actually accomplish its goal. 
So guys, this is gonna wrap up this video. Thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you like this video, please make sure to press the thumbs up button down there and also remember to subscribe to my channel if you want more of this. Again, guys, thanks for watching and I'll be seeing you in the next one.